Hey guys, what's up? AT here. Sorry for the late video. Things just weren't working out for me really yesterday for whatever reason, but I'm here showing off a custom uh, map I made in Forge. Now, at first glance, it just looks like a huge mess of I don't know what, and it kind of is. There's a lot of verticality in this map. That's what I really like about it. So, for starters, the biggest power position here is going to be ring... Well, I guess ring. There's four different layers of it. But pretty much, this is going to be like the central point of the map right here. You're, you're going to want to get up here to ring. Uh, a neutral flag, the flag will spawn here, as you can see. And then, in, uh, what's it called? A stronghold, this will be a generator. Down there will be another generator. And then there's a secret part to the map, which is really cool. As you can see, there's like a lot of open spaces in which would initially seem pretty campy considering their sniper tower over there and then up top uh, plasma caster spawns over there and plus there's that little perch there but in order to combat this I decided to put just a crap ton of power weapons that you have to go for <clears throat> anyways the risk of going for these pl uh, power weapons is that most of the time you're going to be pretty exposed to yourself especially if you have say someone's over here at a um, snipe tower now, while a snipe tower doesn't exactly have good lines of sight towards the other person at their sniper, you know, there's a lot of crap in the way, a lot of cover. They can't, however, get anyone that's about maybe ring two-ish. They have some cover there. Um, you can go up even further, up to snipe three. Have good, good eyes on them, anyone trying to go for some sneaky plays from uh, blue side. Because it, it's a completely symmetrical map, so that makes it cool. There's a lot of different ways to get to different parts of the map, which is really cool. So over here, we have... Where the heck is active camo? I didn't put active camo over here. I'm going to have to re-put re that in there. Anyway, yeah, active camo's over here. Overshield's over there on that side of the map. But um, let's just go ahead and go over into blue side and just see what's up over here. we got some plasma grenades there. Let's start off grabbing this. Rushing out immediately. You can see that there's going to be like just immediate confrontation right here the only cover that you really have would be these little things right here in ring and you can slide here get to some cover what's really cool is that like if you're gonna go for some like really cool plays you know nade this or whatever pick up shotty there's not any cover over here so in order to actually make some plays there's gonna be a lot of like using your using this ring as maybe like some you know, sort of cover thing, go back right into it, jumping onto ring here, you know, setting up, nading, grabbing some splinters. It's really just navigating this whole little ring and using the pillars as your, um, your cover, pretty much. That being said, if you're out here in the open like this, regardless of how you're using the ring to your cover, you're still out in the open. There's a lot of high snipe places, uh, plasma caster spawns here, in which you can end up, you know, dying. So it's good to have good team communication to make sure that someone's at sniper watching your back, watching to make sure no one gets camo, making sure uh, no one's, you know, grabbing shotgun, setting up at ring. That way you can have someone of your own, on your own team, setting up over here at ring trying to go for that plasma caster and there's multiple different ways to actually even go for it you can jump up there in that way um you can go this way i showed you this way but i'm just going to show you guys another way to actually get to ring two and just roll go over here you get this little platform right here get up to ring two you can jump over there get to ring three completely symmetrical and then there's one last part it's a secret which really i think just adds the finishing touch to this uh, map. You drop down here, bam, we got the spanker. There we go. All right, yep. Like I said, nice confrontation. Oh, what the? Okay, yeah, that is the spanker. I thought that was what I said, uh, sniper for a bit. We got the spanker here. Immediate com confrontation. Just come over here. Bam, you're right back at your home base. You set up. Get some nice high ground on people. Pushing the ring. So like I said, there's a lot of open space here, but due to like the amount of power weapons that there are, it sort of balances things out. Or at least I hope I have. I haven't done any play testing yet. We also got these here um cool little teleports that will take you from red base to blue base and vice versa. 
It's really come in handy, especially in like a CTF scenario. And what I mean is like, check this out. So we're blue side. We drop down. Oh crap. Well, let's just assume we're blue team. We drop down here. There's actually it's supposed to be a teleport right here. I don't know what that happened to that. But um, yeah, we drop down bottom. Grab rockets, whatever. Go through the red teleport. Grab that flag. You know, do a little, do a little juggling. Take this teleport. You can't run, but you know, bring it on home. I hope I will be able to get into actual like some custom games and whatnot on this map. I think it'd be really fun to show you guys, you know, some uh, neutral flag or Slayer. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this map, and uh, I'll have more custom game footage up. I'll have more uh, custom maps and whatnot. I'm really enjoying Forge from Halo 5. It's probably my favorite Forge so far that's been implemented into the Halo franchise. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the map. Seems like a lot of fun. Anyways, be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll be back with more Halo 5 content soon. I'm Matey, and I'm out.